Grand Bazaar in Istanbul is one of the largest and oldest covered markets in the world, with 61 covered streets and over 4,000 shops, attracting between 250 and 400,000 visitors a day. This is a place you do not want to miss, and you need to spend more than one day exploring. Let me see this fake road. What's the cheapest you could go? If you want, I hear what's the second part. How are you? 75 lira. 75 lira. Yeah. And for me? 70. <laughs> you got a cheaper price. Is it because I'm white? <laughs> what is this? It's Turkish Viagra. You eating this? No, it's like honey. Just you have to you eat just rub it on your spoon. Yourself. It drinks water. You can work four hours, five hours like machine, like Ferrari. <laughs> This waterfront is absolutely beautiful. And what I really love is the fact that they have these. So basically they're little strainers that catch all of the garbage. Because when you get one of these inlets, it's quite difficult to keep it super clean, especially with the very large population in the big city. Butter, sugar, donut. That is bomb. Next level, yo. Good choice, man. They have cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon too. Mmm. Wow. It tastes like a fried funnel cake that you get at like a carnival. It's so so good. It was seven lira, seven and a half for a little cup, and it's delicious. But now I'm definitely gonna have a heart attack. These bazaars are definitely a place to shop. Look at they got everything: from fresh fruits, dried mushrooms, dried chilies, big fish to choose from. And it's all coming right off the boat. They're like a maze in here. You don't really know which way to go, right or left. We're at a T. I don't really know which way to go, but no matter what way you go, they're shopping. Quick little tip for you that when you are walking through very crowded places like this, take all the things out of your back pockets and put them in your front pockets. Generally, your front pockets are tighter and you'll feel somebody trying to take something out of them. It's just a tip for you to make sure that you are safe and you leave with everything you came with. How much is it? How you much this for? Money. How much this for me? This are normally 435, but for you 395. Because, really? Yes, because this is real copper, and all these one by one for handmade. Copper is expensive. Yeah, but if you want, I show you cheapest one. This. That's like one we bought yesterday. How this, much is that? This is 95, but if you want with the comfort pot. Nice, dude. That's what we bought yesterday. We literally <laughs> just bought a tea set yesterday. It was like the single the plate. It was a single plate with a spoon, a sugar dish, and two little cups. Uh, they're offering it to Itamar for uh, 95, but yesterday we bought ours for 100. So it's actually not far off in price, though, Chris. $100? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have My a friend rock. lives in Boise. Boise. Oh, $800? We have a rock. $3,000. Okay. Yeah, what does the shipping cost for like a... Uh... Shipping is free. Oh, okay. Shipping is free. Okay. This is my problem. Okay. Door to door with Kuladu. Door to door shipping. too sure if I believe it but they have like all these clothes like Nike Tommy Hilfiger boxes he was telling me Itamar was telling me yesterday Tommy Hilfiger in Israel is like the most expensive thing like clothes are like yeah, super yeah. expensive uh -huh. and he says these are all original packaging so let's see how much is uh Tommy Hilfiger welcome how much is Tommy Hilfiger for you 75 lira 75 lira yeah. and for me 70 <laughs> No, no, 70 also for you. <laughs> but dude, dude, you got a cheaper price. Is it because I'm white? <laughs> that is all. Oh, man. Bizarre. He just said you got oh, and Gucci them. underwear for 50 liters. That 
that, those lamps are way cheaper than the one I bought yesterday. Really? Yeah, and they're sick. You could get three for a hundred. So it's actually cheaper here than it was on the walking Well, street. that's what I'm finding. I think it's because of COVID, to be honest, because there's not really tourists in here. It's just locals. I've so. seen so many pictures of this place slam packed. Slam packed. And right now it is empty. You just keep walking, walking, walking. Eventually you're going to hit an exit. But if you go left and right and left and right, you just walk through this entire thing from lamp stores to Gucci bags. To suitcases. You want to get a Gucci suitcase? How much for a Louis suitcase? One hundred fifty dollars. One hundred fifty U.S. Yes, sir. Or Leah. U.S. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Also very soft. Turkish delight. Caramel. Walnut. Walnut. Walnut caramel. That is bomb. Wow. That is bomb. That is really good. Can I try another one? Well, that's like basically that. like a Turkish sushi. Like two, like sweet. Wow. Next level. That's soft. That's crunchy. That is so good. And you can come and actually sample it. The gentleman was super nice, explaining everything, letting us try things. And I think Chris is actually going to buy some. Getting a half kilo of almond Turkish delight for like 70, 70 lira. So that's super cool. They're going to wrap it up and allow them to take it home. So if you are interested in bringing something like that home, super fresh. For like a year, and it's sealed. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Wow. Ooh. Adam tea. Wow. This one's really good. This, buddy. Whoa, dude. <laughs> that's um. It's like that's like Vicks, Vicks vapor rub, dude. Exactly. That's exactly. That smells like Vicks vapor rub. Vicks like vapor if you rub. if you are sick, phenomenal. What is this? <laughs> it's Turkish Viagra. You eating this? No, it's like honey. Just you have to you eat just rub one it on spoon. Drink water. You can work four hours, five hours, like machine, like Ferrari, <laughs> like Ferrari. Yeah. Oh man! So when you travel to different places, they have natural remedies yeah. throughout each different culture and each region of the U.S. has different remedies. Crazy. When I was in like uh, Cambodia or when I was in uh, Laos, they used like different animal livers for Viagras and headaches <laughs> and things like that. And here in Turkey, they use spices and. Some roots, I guess. This man's been trying to get me to get Viagra for the last 30 yeah. minutes. It's perfect. He will like if you use it, but he don't want his shine from you. <laughs> <laughs> so he said he's actually got a connection for some watches. So I don't know how much uh, Rolex is going to cost. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, we'll see how much Rolex is. He says he doesn't want us. They might not want us to film. But everybody know want to take the video. That's why. Yeah. A formula problem. So let's. Uh, imitation is not yeah, real. It's a copy. Yeah, yeah it's not real. So let's uh, let's see how much this goes for. You can check. You can offer. It. Okay. I'm leaving. You have to go. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a blue one? Yeah. You have one more. Yeah. Yeah. I want blue. Oh yeah. I'm not. Lira dollar which money? Lira. Lira around one thousand seven hundred lira. Ooh. Ceramic One thousand seven hundred lira. I just don't want to spend that much on one. No, me either. It never scratch. Let me actually see these. It'll never scratch. Come on, bro. Let me see this fake, bro. What's the cheapest you could go? If you want, I have a second one. Yo, this gold one is actually 1,700 lira. I like this one. How much did he take? 1,700. He's got the Ferrari and he's got the Fiat, whatever Rolex you want. One six hundred, one seventeen hundred. The lowest he'll go is fifteen hundred with cash. I'd say eight hundred. It's California. Yeah. 800? Yeah. If you want, I can do for this. No, you want that one. Say that one. Yeah, I want this one. 
You want this one? You just, yeah. I told you, I told you this is Ferrari. I understand. I like Ferraris. <laughs> Take this. I, you I like Ferraris. I, said this I like one. Ferraris, but I can only can put eight hundred dollars worth of gas in the tank. I saw, I <laughs> you know you what I'm saying? They have been in here for hours, and I saw a bracelet that I really like, but it's real. Like it's real diamonds in a real jewelry, and he says he actually has that same one in fake. So I'm gonna look for that. You don't have one this? without the um the diamonds? Black one? Yeah. Black one no. Black How much one is only this? with diamond like that. This one is six hundred lira, brother. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's hard. Is this is this for your wrist? Yeah. That's your wrist? Yeah. Wow. I paid five hundred lira for a Cartier bracelet. It's pretty sweet. It'll be nice to wear during weddings and stuff. Chris was kind of... I almost got one. He almost was, got one. He was pushing me along. He's but like, I, that, I didn't want one. I liked it though. I just didn't. I'm not... I personally liked the black one and it had diamonds and it was like really flossy and I'm not a flossy guy. If he would have had a regular black one... I liked the silver. It was just plain. Yeah, but you also shoot weddings yeah. and stuff. After leaving the Grand Bazaar, you have to go see the mosques because you are right next to one of the largest mosques in the world that was actually recently turned from a museum back into a mosque not that long ago. So we're going to head over. It's about a 14 minute walk and we're going to head back over to the Hagia Sophia Mosque. A lot of the different street dogs that you see within Istanbul, they all have these tags on them. I mean, there's a couple right here. There's one right here that has a tag on the ear. And then there's another one right here, and it also has a tag on the ear. It kind of seems like the city is is keeping ta they all keeping have count. Something like this. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Do you know off. why? To, to uh, track the street dogs. Because they are vaccinated and they are sterilized. Oh, oh, they're vaccinated? We yeah. We have the same in the, in the U.S., they, but they stick it inside the body. Exactly, but when you see a dog with this in his ears, that means like he's vaccinated and he's sterilized. Oh, okay. ah, so they can't reproduce. They can't reproduce. Yeah. So oh, a lot of the times you see street dogs, especially in Asia, and uh, you're really worried about getting bit by them because you could get really sick if you get bit by a dog that has some sort of disease. But when you see the dogs with the tags in the ear, the street dogs here in Istanbul, they're all vaccinated and they can't reproduce. So, yeah, they're they're pretty friendly. They're really, really friendly. So we have made it to the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. Now, right in between these two, actually the prayer goes off and it's supposed to be one of the most magical things to see and hear in the city. If you walk in through the security, which there is very tight security here right now, which is completely understandable, you get to walk around all of the quarters of the Blue Mosque in Hagia Sophia and you get to see just the massive beauty of these two mosques. Now this is one of the biggest mosques in the world. I believe it is the biggest mosque in the world. So this is something you need to see while you're in Istanbul. I can tell you one thing, the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque are just unreal. Especially the Blue Mosque because the sunset sets right behind it. So as a photographer or somebody that's taking video, it's just unreal. 
the views and the sky lit up for us tonight. You know, we thought last night was gonna be our only night to see an incredible sunset, and I was 100% wrong. Tonight was just as magical, and it's a place you definitely wanna see. Now, we didn't come in time to catch sunset, do everything we wanted to do, and to go inside the mosque. I know, we got three more days, so I'm hoping to make my way inside the mosque before I leave, but you wanna hear prayer in between the Blue Mosque and Hagia Sophia, because it is just beautiful, and you definitely wanna make sure you stop and see it if you're at the Grand Bazaar.